this is how to save your old Hoover fry pan. If it says you're supposed to be using this probe that looks like, uh, where's my old one here? It looks like that. You know, you can't find those anymore. And uh, <clears throat> what you got to do is get a Dremel like this. And now this one was the old style. It had this little thing right here, right? You guys all seen that? Seen the problems? You can't find a new one? So what you do is uh, it'll look like this when you start out, right? that. So you take out the two screws and pull this out. Then you get your Dremel and you cut this off nice and flush. Be careful, don't hit the edges. Don't hit the edges, just flush it off. Then I used a center punch and I punched a little notch right there just to start my drill. And then you take a, uh, a small drill I used a quarter inch and you've got to line it up like in the middle and like dead center, right? So it's not, you don't want any of this kind of drilling, right? You don't want any of that kind of drilling, you want it like that, right? So use a quarter inch and I went in all, all the way like that, right? That's kind of my pilot hole, so I can still fix things if I get it wrong. Then, I went in with uh, another one. And the next one I used was 5 16 And that's how I kind of lined it up. Now, you want to make sure, if possible, you leave this little extra metal back here. Okay? You don't want to be taking all this out. It's just how the casting works out on these, okay? So I use that. And then the last drill, see, and I was just I was just using my Ryobi here. The last one is this one. And this one, let me get it out. This is the final size. And this is a 21 Sixty fourths. So it was a twenty one sixty fourths right here. This was my last hole right here. This one twenty one sixty fourths. Now you say, well, why are we doing all that? I'll tell you why. Because you can buy this baby on eBay for. Not eBay, excuse me, oh eBay too, but Amazon for eleven dollars. Twelve dollars? It's this one. Master Heat Control Presto. That's what it is. There it is. And and this works with like everything. So look at this. Okay. And remember, we got it upside down right now. Let's see how that, that probe goes through there, and this kind of holds it in a little bit right there. All right? And yeah, you're going to have some sharp edges around the top. These are kind of sharp, but hey, who's, who's under there anyways, right? So this is what gives you second life. You notice this is one of these stainless steel tops, right, real nice ones, here's another one, uh, this was a later model, this one already had the hole, see that's how they, that's how they made them later on, right, and this one came with this temperature controller, and this fits in here, so this is, this is, this was my test one, so I knew that I had the right thing. 
this is 1500 watts it says up here for that fan and this is the replacement from Presto and it is also so you can see it here right there just missed it 1500 watts right there can't focus it's too much light anyways this Presto is 1500 watts and this was just a design change from one generation of this pan to the next and uh, I hope that is helpful to some people this is also a Nesco stainless steel fry pan um, you can't really see it I guess but this is Nesco and Nesco and Hoover were, were the same thing you know here's the this one use control 78T and sorry guys or 9906 right and as you can see I mean, this is the same bottom except it just has the hole in it right there right it's the same bottom as this one which is the one I just fixed except they just changed this casting part same bottom so, hope that helps some of you on uh, saving your fry pans. I see a lot of people looking for uh, replacements of this baby. And, you know, these things, uh, you just can't get them anymore. They just burn out. But uh, this is a standard design right here, this Presto. This fits everything from like the 19, I want to say 80s, moving forward, because they standardized the design. And if you're wondering... There it is. See, pokes through. That's on the. And then right here, see, pokes through. Just change the design a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this back on like this here. Right. Put my screws in there. And there you have it. Right there. Just gonna put the screws in pokes through the same and we flip it over you see there's plenty of room for controls 